Okay, question two. So we've given this matrix A, and question A says find its determinant and show you're working. Okay, so I'm going to do this with class reduction and stuff, probably. So this is uh, 2i. So we're collecting the determinant of A, and A is 1, 4, minus 1, 6. 0, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 1, 5, 3. Let's just check that's right. So row wise, it's 1, 0, 2, 4, 4, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 0, 0, 3. Yeah, cool. Okay. So what can we do? We don't have any. Oh, we have. Yeah, the, third, the second column is, is all zeros apart from one entry, so we can. We can expand along that column, and it, that entry is an odd entry, so we're going to have an extra minus sign, so we're going to have minus 2 times the determinant of the minor, 1, 4, 6, 2, 0, 0, 4, 1, 3. Okay, now there's another, and we have the second column now is, again, is, a, is all zeros apart from one entry, so... And again, that entry is an odd entry, so again, we're going to have a, a negative minor. It's going to be 2, but so we're going to so have minus, the, minus 2 coming out again, so it's going to be 4. And then the, the minor is 4, 6, 1, 3. Okay, so now we can calculate this determinant. It's, well, it's 4 times... 12 minus 6, so that's 4 times 6, which is 24. Okay, so the term is 24. Okay, then it says, do the columns of A form a dependent or independent set of vectors? So because the determinant is non-zero, that means the matrix is invertible, means that the, the columns are independent. Okay. So, determinants is... Term of A is 24, which is not 0. So columns independent. OK. Question. Oh, it's actually ABC, whatever. Question C. We might need, now we need the determinants of these, these three things A transpose, A inverse, and half A. And it's just you don't need any too much any working. Okay, so so this was actually A B C and so I was we wanted the determinant of A transpose. Um so the yeah, you know, the determinant of transpose is the same as the determinant of the thing itself, so it's twenty-four. Then they want for two they want the determinant of the inverse. Determinant of the inverse, which is always just one over the determinant of the thing itself, so it's one over twenty-four. And then finally, they want uh, they wanted the determinant of half a, right? So that depends on how many rows you're timesing every row of a by a half. So you need there's four rows, so you need to bring out a half four times, giving you to the 4 there, so we have like that. Um, so we have 2 to the 4 is 16, so we have 1 over 16, 24 over 16. That, that can be simplified, right? Uh, divide them both by 8, you have 3 over 2. It took, was it really half A we want, they wanted us to do? Yes. Okay, that's it.